I woke up to the sun hitting my face. And I stretched. I looked around. Holy smokes, I'm late! <laughs> I quickly dashed into the bathroom. I ran downstairs in a hurry. But I didn't smell the coffee that I normally set up. I realized something. It's Saturday! <laughs> oh! <coughs> That is an example of what we call the rut. You've all gone through it. Whether it be waking up on a Saturday in a hurry, driving your car and going to work, but you were supposed to go someplace else. We've all done that. A rut is not necessarily a bad thing, but it does indicate one thing, that you need to get motivated. You need to change your attitude. You need to express in your mind and in your heart that it's time to do something different. Let me suggest a few things quickly. One, set goals for yourself. We always hear that. But if you have that infamous checklist that tells you exactly what it is that you have to do that day, your mind will not go to the rut. It will immediately go to the checklist. Next. Motivate someone else. Call somebody. Wish them a happy Monday, happy Tuesday, happy Wednesday. It's so much fun. It breaks the monotony because you're suddenly saying to someone, I care so much about you. I want you to have a great day like I'm going to have today. And then the third thing is look to the future. It's different than goals. It's vision. It's saying to yourself that you do want to take something out of life today. You do want to express greatness and leave a legacy. By doing so, you need to look ahead beyond just those checklists. You need to look at the future, the vision of what it is that you plan to do for this world beyond yourself. So to break that rut, remember, set that goal. Begin that process of motivating others. And then immediately look to the vision of the future that you can bless people with. That's the cure for the rut. Mr. Toastmaster.